all right friends so we will be covering <coughs> search engine optimization uh, a few of you have already covered in an offline or elsewhere uh, i don't know for how many of you it's a new topic but it's a kind of revision and every tutor every trainer has its its own way of presenting things so Okay, Rishi Gandhi. Uh, where do WordPress? You just Google it out. There are various themes available for WordPress. Themeify करके एक है उसी में आपको बहुत सारे themes मिल जाएंगे. Even in uh, WordPress itself, back panel से जाके you can search it out for themes. You get various e-commerce themes, theme forest and all that. Yeah. Uh, so I was saying, uh, everybody has a different approach of taking a subject. Uh, this is a little technical subject, but I do not always go into the technicalities too much. I always take in view that we are not the developers, and we has to know the way of finding it out if we are doing it on a general basis. And this is the approach which I have taken for social media, and this is the approach I am taking for even SEO. many of you were there or i think a couple of you were there in the morning session today which was the introductory session for a new batch so in that we have discussed uh, and this is for others also to understand the connection that in that we have discussed the general idea of digital marketing how a digital marketer should behave and should approach for any campaign and all that and then uh, what are the various modules involved in digital marketing and what are the benefits which it bring on to the table uh and then we started with making of the site but with this batch which we are currently right now i have taken social media on the first and then the website making on the second so that is the reason uh, we'll cover search engine optimization in the morning batch in in the next coming session only which will be the second session for this batch but here it will be fifth or sixth session and right now we are covering that uh so here we are moving from promotion to product as in from how to promote it on various avenues and then coming though that topic is also not fully covered but you have a glimpse of understanding and then we are moving towards the website management if not making and then how to optimize it so uh just to have the background we have a website now let's assume that we have nickelrobo.com with us or whatever site you are making ravijot is making it her own site somebody else must be making his own site uh we have a platform with us and we are trying to make it on on the starting basis let's assume that we are making on a personal bio data kind of thing or whatever we feel like putting on to uh, which reflects our personality onto the website now in order to promote that the idle ways are like you know uh which comes into my mind at least is promoting it directly onto the various channels bring it out to the facebook where you know there is a hell lot of people sitting and chatting bring it onto the youtube where there are various server shopping their own videos and i come in between and somehow somehow i create a great visibility and there is one thing which i have taken an example of panwala in the morning uh, like you have for example it's a new website you are a new let's assume that you are a new uh, cowboy in a new you know up country area and you have opened a new pub over there a new saloon where people can gamble and have a few drinks this is the place which you have opened since you are a new guy over there you try to approach different avenues where people talk about the town and you become searchable you try to become a lot more searchable yeah in order to become lot more searchable you try to to contact or try to reach places where you find a collection of people gossiping around and you end up uh, you end up at a crossing at a junction which is very important junction of the city where people come smoke towards the panwala and he's the only panwala and is you know very known guy in the town <clears throat> and you go over there and you ask him 
besides standing uh, beside the guys who are regular customer of Edge who have a good rapport with him and you go and you say yaar maine ye naya khola and why don't you if somebody ask for it and even if somebody don't ask for it uh let's say somebody ask for is ki yaar kya naya chal raha hai to just naya ye hua hai ya bata dena ya kya naya jagah hai where i can go and have a drink ya kaun si aisi nayi jagah hai where i can go and gamble so why don't you just let my place know now this pan wala which uh, let's assume is a google right now will have and don't take this example literally take it metaphorically right will have two choices in hand right now since he don't know you since you haven't optimized yourself for him this is the first time he may be a little jitty he will say theek hai bata dunga but why don't you just pay me something and i'll let you know right and there is a guy who standing beside you who probably have a similar kind of business or any business and smoking a cigarette and he's a regular uh, you know uh, client for this pan wala and been coming from one year and he been talking and letting his business information known to that pan wala and for him if somebody let's say he is into car washing and there is a third guy who comes and with a dirty car and he sees the car and says yaar ek car na har roz gandi ho jati hai har roz do phir sham tak gandi ho jati hai koi car wala koi car dhone wala hai so pan wala has a choice now of two different type of business but wo aapke liye paise deke bata raha hai agar uske bare mein pucha ja raha hai लेकिन उस थर्ड पर्सन के बारे में वो ऐसे ही बता सकता है बिकॉज इट्स बीन फीडेड इन टू हिज डी एन ए राइट फ्रॉम सो मेनी ईयर्स और सो मेनी मंथ्स कमिंग रेगुलरली एंड सम हाउ ऑप्टिमाइजिंग सो दिस गूगल इज दैट पान वाला राइट नाउ ही इज रिस्पॉन्डिंग ऑन द सेम वे ऑन टू द सेम पेज बट ही हैज नाउ मेड टू डिफरेंट क्लासिफिकेशन आइडियल ही शुड नॉट बी चार्जिंग एनी वन नाउ दैट इज वन वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट टू इट जो बहुत एथिकल और सोशल लोग होते हैं वो ये भूलेंगे बट कमर्शियल वाइबिलिटी के हिसाब से ही कैन चार्ज बिकॉज इज पासिंग ऑन इन्फॉर्मेशन टू यू नाउ आई एम सेइंग डोंट टेक इट द एग्जांपल लिटरली टेक इट मेटाफोरिकली नाउ दिस पान वाला फॉर यू इज फॉर एवरी इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज हैड अ डील विद यू दैट मैं एक लाइन बताऊंगा तो इतने पैसे लूंगा और एक बार वो आपके पास आएगा तो मुझे इतने पैसे देने पड़ेंगे ऑन दी अदर हैंड फॉर दी गाई ही नो हु इज हु इज ही फ्रेंड्स विद for whatever reasons and optimize it will he is not giving any information uh, uh, on a paid basis to wo free mein uske liye bata ke ja raha hai ki yaar wo car wash wala hai udhar aap try kar lena but he has been spending his time his resource all these months kuch na kuch wahan pe cigarette peeta tha jab apne pleasure ke liye peeta tha lekin thodi si baat aur ho jaye isliye kaha the cigarette kabhi kabhi wo bhi pee leta hoga this car wash wala the guy who has been there tagged along with uh, pan wala from so many years also is spending his time his resources energy where he could have gone to his car wash company and would have washed out a couple of more cars but instead of doing so he has been spending time over here with pan wala so wo alag se kuch paise nahi de raha information ke liye but ek human resource form mein wo spend kar raha hai in opportunity cost expend kar raha hai this is the two situations which you will have yourself ab aap jis shuru mein ab aapka ye pub tha aur aap shuru se usko paise bhi dete ja rahe ho lekin aap saath ke saath uske sath repo bhi banate ja rahe ho because you have been regularly building up and this is how a digital marketer tends to approach google searches because he is at pan wala web jiske paas city ka har koi log aata hai ja ke poochta hai us us city mein i don't know just dial use nahi karte honge whatever reasons but this is the guy well known for this to give a prompt response and now you have the choice of being what you cannot be a good repo guy right from the word go so apni website ko apne pages ko optimize karna to that level will require a few intelligent way of doing that and a duration to do that so agar maine our site launch kari i cannot expect it to be optimized into the eyes of which is technically an indexing क्रॉलर्स उसको इंडेक्स कर लें uh, हमारी साइट को गूगल के राइट फ्रॉम दी वर्ड गो सो वी ट्राई टू बिल्ड इट रेपो एंड इफ यू वांट अ फास्ट रिस्पॉन्स एंड वी गेट वी जस्ट कैन नॉट वेट आर सेल्स एंड वी हैव अ लिटिल बजट टू स्पेंड देन वी गो विद एडवर्ड्स अ पेड अप्रोच टू इट सिंस वी हैवेंट कवर्ड एडवर्ड्स 
uh, we'll cover it in detail, but I'll just give you uh, a little example uh, of it. Uh, let's say you're in a Google right now and you search for any product just name me one product guys laptop any particular laptop because with laptop I guess all right no don't worry uh, we got the results now since we got the results we could see that over here on the top which we see as ads and on the right hand side what we see as ads a shopping in a shopping format and what we see over here is Panwala charging from a cowboy for his new pub right and what we see over here which is not an ad which is a journal business a search engine journal business if somebody asked it I prompt it so uh, I'm not putting an ad I'm just giving an organic response so Google is just giving an organic response and this is the result but same product with the same keyword there are many competitors and there are many sites who if search from laptop will want them to be there on the top listings so it has a chronological order it can only display 10 results on the first page uh, on the respective pages so how will do that so his crawlers who basically in a when whenever a keyword has been searched looks out onto the lags and grows of website for the information you are doing an optimization so that if search engine looks for that word I should be the one who should you know uh, gradually come on to the top uh, the more searches the more traffic the more ranking and that is why it takes some time and uh, a website is nothing but a sum of pages and uh, ultimately when being searched you want a landing page to it like you can see www.amazon.in slash laptop slash whatever this uh, URL is so in order to have that <coughs> this is the web page so they basically uh, the duty of search engine optimizer or a digital marketer over here is to optimize every page whatever information it has will study everything in detail what is the step-by-step -step approach they should be taking how to do it uh, this is to give you a glimpse that if we search search engine optimization means over here over this this section right so uh, and how to come over here you can go with a tool called Google AdWords uh, and you can come over here so let us open parallelly Google AdWords as well. Google AdWords. Shubham, the first thing which I saw right now is PPC. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just keeping things light right now. So this is the tool which Google has provided for its product. And if somebody wants to come as advertiser uh, into Google and willing to do a, a campaign uh, on Google for their various products, at YouTube, keyword search, shopping oriented uh, formation which you have seen. So this is the tool which you have to use. Uh, I'll cover Google AdWords separately uh, in detail, but I'm just giving you a little glimpse so that whatever be opened right now, you, you should not fe feel it's an alien world. And I guess many of you anyways will be knowing about it. Uh, but anyways, uh, so this is Google AdWords homepage and you could see over here that once you go to the campaign you will see different uh, products so if you want a YouTube ad you have to go to videos and then make an ad yes you create a campaign by doing this exactly Ravijot 
so you like for example i'll i'll say when i tap live uh, when i type laptop i could see that touch up shopping not in hp uh, shopping not in is coming or dell.com is coming now this ad is only possible once somebody from dell.com or hp shopping.com or any agency who is working for them have created a google account went into th this kind of format gone to the campaign gone to search network or search network with display and then have made a keyword oriented ad that ad which they have made and we'll cover in detail once we cover this adwords and keyword thing today we are covering search engine optimization but this is the tool with the follow right <clears throat> and like you see over here that these are the uh, shopping windows direct where you can go and land to the landing page of e-commerce site for this this is the tool shopping so then go to the shopping and there is a one google merchandiser kind of database where they have to feed the information for their e-commerce site and connect the landing page and this is how it works. we'll cover that too once we reach to that topic on a respective session uh, right what is the benefit for the customers if they click on these ads the benefit for the customer is they they get the inform uh, information which they really wanted like for example if i want uh, if i want information regarding laptop so i've typed laptop or i'm looking to buy a laptop or somebody has asked me yaar koi acha laptop batana mujhe khareedna hai and i'm in a free time and just checking it out so i check laptop and i got this information or अब मेरे ऊपर है मेरे को यहाँ पे इन्फॉर्मेशन लिब्रेटिव लग रही है देखने में लाइक डेल्स न्यू ईयर ऑफर है यार ये है इस पर मैंने क्लिक कर दिया एंड आई प्रोबली रीच टू द डेस्टिनेशन आई मे चूज टू इग्नोर दीज एड्स एज वेल एंड गेट इन टू द ऑर्गेनिक लिस्टिंग एंड क्लिक दैट इन फैक्ट आई डोंट नो इफ द स्टडी इज राइट और रॉन्ग बट आई रेड समवेयर दैट अराउंड मोर देन हाफ अराउंड सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ दी क्लिक्स विच इज हैपनिंग ऑन रेगुलर सर्चेस are happening uh, on organic on search engine optimized uh, kind of a natural listing rather than advertisement listing so advertisement on search of a query result in ultimately landing in only 3 out of 10 times or 4 out of 10 times but mostly it is people tends to you know click on the organic and natural listing and i'm not sure about that uh, thing because there were no source written over there so i'm not sure how the information is correct or not <clears throat> but you as a digital marketer has to make a call uh, i guess the fundamental or thumb rule is you start search in on optimization right from day one and put a lot of effort towards it because it's only a hard work which you have to do there is no extra budgeting or cost involved into that and plus it should be done basically also so whatever tools which you'll be using today you'll see that it's a basic tool it's it is nothing it's nothing hard it is like forming a page so is no more difficult task it's only few pointers which you have to keep in mind that is the only thing once you you know manage your website so in order to do that you should do it and search engine optimization will ultimately result you and uh, then uh, paid ads aap kabhi bhi le sakte hain uh, and there could be a possibility of you reaching to the same keyword result on both the site like for example if you see when i type laptop I could see see that the Amazon का मुझे ये वाला पेज भी दिख रहा है which is an organic listing thing and I'm also getting to see Amazon का this वाला पेज which is a paid thing so they have the money and they have the resources to do that तो वो दोनों चीजें कर रहे हैं और हर कोई दोनों चीजें करता है so clear till here anyways we haven't discussed anything as such in detail but whatever we have discussed clear till here the approach behind search engine marketing Oh, uh, search engine optimization and yeah. Anybody else will not respond. It seems like me and Ravijut are only here. Nobody else. Preeti, you getting it? Rishikant, Shubham. All right. Uh, so let's move a little deeper now. uh 
now search engine optimization is basically uh, can be divided into two parts there are two ways of looking about it or there are two concepts two pillars whatever word you want to use two types uh, these are the two attribute two roads which join uh, search engine optimization one is on page and the other is off page today we'll be covering on page in detail and the next session will be covering off page uh, but i'll just give you a glimpse in between of today's session what is off page also because that sometimes there are overlap uh, an on page optimization is like think of a showroom like you can see these showroom these are something which had a little different once they have opened it so it's like you have a website and you have a showroom think about it parallelly right you have created a new website you have created a new showroom and in new showroom you want people to come so whatever you want to do you just want to put everything into the showroom koi differential factor dalenge kuch color lighting aisa karenge kuch aisa concept leke aate hain jo pehle se nahi tha so that people attracted and get to see it so whatever and again don't take it literally take metaphorically that <clears throat> you're paying all your effort with the area which you have in your hand and not taking outside help but on site help and this is what an on page optimization is that you are making your website so optimized us make keywords kitne zyada aur kahan kahan par main use kar lu you know uh, i should be in the correct limit of meta tags and all that i'll i'll come into it once i'll do that uh, and then i will be able to uh perf- make the performance better when search engine search for it and indexing getting better so this is on site optimization uh ashalata have just joined ashalata have you just joined so you are late today right but don't mind if in case you are just joined now uh you haven't missed much you can go to the recording session and uh, take a glimpse of first half an hour post we are done with this uh so search in optimization will have two parts on page optimization is what we will discuss today and this is think metaphorically that it is one a showroom on one side and you are making a website on one side and off page optimization is basically like for example you are in a mall uh how many of you because i know about that mall that's why i'm taking an example and you can think of a mall from your city how many of you from delhi and cia so you must have visited select city walk city yeah or you may have also visited pacific mall if in case they have that magazine but yeah so yes so in select city walk or in a pacific mall in west delhi if you go over there i'm not sure about the pacific mall in uh, west delhi but i'm very sure about select city walk you you go into the mall you also find at various stands that there is magazine the internal select city walk ki magazine aati hai and every good mall nowadays does that and there is a may, may i help you information there are different signages which jahan pe signages mein likha hota hai ki ye wala showroom idhar hai ye wala showroom idhar hai this is in one way or the other a kind of offline uh, again take the example metaphorically don't take it literally basically you are not doing anything in the showroom you are doing on the surrounding areas somehow getting a, a references through a signage or probably people carrying a carry bag of that brand so if recently from last 3 months whenever i visited uh select city walk i have made a little observation this is a little off to the subject but uh, a little interesting observation for any group which i see have done shopping which i only come to know if they are carrying any carry bag uh so there will be groups of people who will, who are not carrying any carry bag that means they have done window shopping and have done literally any shopping on that day or on that point of time or till that time but there will be people uh, who will be carrying shopping bag so that means they have done shopping a little observation which i made uh, on select city walk uh, was uh, they have an h&m which was recently uh, opened an h&m showroom a few months back i don't know if it there in the other places in south delhi but it was there in select city walk and i made the observation that whosoever have shopped not only in select city walk because there is another mall adjacent to it dlf so even in dlf i've observed that on the cluster of that mall where the h&m was there approximately 
eight group out of ten, seven or eight or nine groups out of ten, if done shopping, has done something or the other, uh, have bought something or the other from H and M. So it was. So H and M is making that kind of progress. If you have done shopping in the Salesforce team, then you have done H and M. So you have done it. Maybe you have done it from other people or not. So that's the observation I made. And somehow it is a good example, a metaphorical, not a literal example for an off-page optimization because other websites or other people, other bloggers, uh, you know, are promoting my brand somewhere, and they are giving me reference in a form of a backlink. Or anything to go to H and M because the more I see that site, the more I click and the more I get get onto the home site or landing page which I am promoting it, uh, I get a more indexing. So in my eyes, uh, if somebody asks me as a search engine, if somebody asks me, "Are I shopping on Segaru?" I'll surely have top in my mind, uh, top of my mind H and M. So I'll say H and M to see it because many people does that. and this is the same way google will do since you have been talked around so much even by outside of your website that they improves your ranking and if we search for a shopping for a dress for a t-shirt they'll recommend that channel yes that is the reason and it has a good brand equity behind it but whatever the, the example was of course uh, i my excitement towards region may have reflected but at the same time uh, uh, because i'm a marketer i get crazy about looking on to these things but anyways uh, for the off page optimization this is the example which i want to give so there it, there can be a sign board in the mall itself or there can be a magazine of a mall where there is Okay, Rishi Khan wants to know. I'll Rishi Khan. I'll just come to the answer. I'll say tip, uh, complete whatever I was saying on this slide. That uh, in the magazine, your uh, you have a coverage of your brand, your showroom over there. So these are the examples of off-page, and we'll literally cover uh, once we cover in the next session. Okay, what they have done? They have the first thing which they have done is they have created a good publicity. H and M is coming to India was like a hype for three four months in the press. not only in terms of marketing circuit but also into the shopping circuit the opening day itself was i don't know how many crore sale i just forgot the number and there was a a special arrangement mode for that yes there will be that's the offline promotion tactics that that anyways goes with that to launch karna hota to again this is a good example which you can see that once you do a campaign online or offline or a combination of both Uh, you have to keep in mind that a campaign means choosing various modules so aap koi ek cheez karke result nahi karte aap puri ek story banate ho aur us story mein aap is step par ye karenge step pe ye karenge will get traffic from that will get traffic from that and this is how you make an hype right see i haven't covered it as a case study this is only one observation which i discussed to demonstrate you an example for off page revenue so i have no idea what kind of promo facebook ads have they done no idea about that so it will be premature for me to discuss that but as far as i could see that they will they will not do a paid facebook ad they should not do it if i have been into the marketing it because they already have such kind of hype for themselves so it will be like a waste of effort मार्केटिंग में ना एक बैलेंस वर्ड होता है आपको बैलेंस भी करना होता है आप ये नहीं है कि आपके पास जो भी टूल है आप सबके सब कुदा दो अल्टीमेटली इट डिक्रीजेज योर ब्रांड इक्विटी आई गिव यू अ वेरी डिफरेंट एग्जांपल अ लिटिल ऑफ बीट बट सिंस एवरीबॉडी ऑफ यू इज अ मार्केटर एट द एंड ऑफ द डे नॉट ओनली डिजिटल मार्केटर वुड हेल्प यू अभी मारुति ने रिसेंटली हैव लॉन्च्ड नॉट रिसेंटली बट अ कपल ऑफ मंथ्स बैक हैव लॉन्च्ड बलिनो या सो people are aware about that balino car jo mid uh, car segment mein aayi hai around 5 lakhs to 7 lakhs yeah now this maruti balino uh, usko launch kara gaya nexa mein nexa ek alag business ek alag cheez hai wo main discuss karunga to bahut time lag jayega wo ek alag se showroom khulta hai high end products ke aspirational products ke liye maruti ne because they have they were having a problem ki koi acha aspiration brand bhi mass brand ki tarah perceive hota tha it would have been launching on a normal showroom so they have next time we'll launch kara uh, next is the name of a showroom nothing else but even in that <clears throat> you would see 
दैट देर इज नो प्रमोशन अभी भी अगर आप कुछ प्रमोशन कहीं कहीं पे हो रही है थ्रू पब्लिसिटी और थ्रू स्पॉन्सरशिप या कोई भी वो प्रमोशन कर रहे हैं किसी स्पोर्ट्स uh, एक्टिविटी में या बिग बॉस या ऐसे किसी उसमें तो स्विफ्ट का कर रहे हैं स्विफ्ट एंड नॉट बलिनो वेर एज बलिनो इज ए न्यू प्रोडक्ट वाई दे आर डूइंग दैट वायर दे आर नॉट कमिंग अप फ्रंट इन द प्रमोशनल एक्टिविटी और प्रेड प्रमोशनल एक्टिविटी इन बलिनो द रीजन इज आप बलिनो के शोरूम में अभी जाओ आपको वेटिंग मिलेगी अभी भी दर पीपल आर एनी वेज क्रेजी अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट ओनली प्रमोशन तक जाने की जरूरत ही नहीं है प्रोडक्ट ही इतना बेहतरीन है उसको पैकेज ही इतना बढ़िया करा गया है कि यू इफ यू आर लुकिंग टू बाय एन एस क्रॉस यू विल नॉट बाय यू आर लुकिंग टू बाय एन आई टेन यू आई ट्वेंटी यू प्रोबली विल नॉट बाय एंड थिंक ऑफ बाइंग यू लुकिंग टू बाय स्विफ्ट यू प्रोबली विल नॉट बाय इट बिकॉज अराउंड द सेम प्राइस सेम इंजन यू विल बाय दैट सो इट ओवर टू आई ट्वेंटी राइट नाउ यू कुड आस्क मी कि यार नया ब्रांड आया लॉन्च हुआ लेकिन हम उसकी लॉन्च पे उन्होंने प्रमोशन करा एक टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया में एटलीस्ट मैंने देखा था ऐसे नेशनल डेली में उन्होंने फ्रंट पेज लिया होगा टू गिव दैट क्रेज बट इट वॉज ओनली वंस और ट्वाइस सो दे आर नॉट डूइंग ग्रेट पेड एडवर्टीजमेंट ऑफलाइन ऑनलाइन बिकॉज देर इज नो नीड टू डू अगर वो करेंगे इट कम्स इन टू योर माइंड कि यार ये पुश कर रहे हैं यू मे परसीव इट यू मे और मे नॉट But it is like, and there is no need of pushing that because pulling effect is not so much. So are you getting? So as a digital marketer, this is something which you have to keep in mind. Again, I'll repeat what I always repeat, and probably you people have got bored out of it. Running a tool like you'll run a an SEO tool or an SEM tool somewhere. Uh, running a tool is only twenty thirty percent. It's how and when to apply it is. the digital marketer's responsibility that is why you you will be paid whatever you will be paid for running a tool is very easy aapka course kitne ka hai aap tool to sare seekh hi jaoge na us course mein and compare it with this earnings which you want to earn out of that course so why should somebody pay you 10 times of what you are spending on a course on a monthly basis to to run a campaign it will only pay you if you use your brains in running a campaign right so no more lectures fine till here i mean is yes 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 okay 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 yes 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 so good to go uh now we'll cover on page optimization will now the process will be will stick on to this slide and then we'll click on to the practical running the first thing first सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन से हमें समझ गए कि जब सर्च करा जाए कोई कीवर्ड तो आपकी वेबसाइट और वेबसाइट में जितने भी पेजेस हैं वो इतने ऑप्टिमाइज इतने ऑप्टिमाइज होने चाहिए इतने टू द मार्क होने चाहिए कि सर्च इंजन के कंसेप्ट के हिसाब से वो इंडेक्सिंग में आपको पिक कर ले सो वट इज दी वन लिंक कनेक्ट मेन वर्ड ओवर हियर वट इज दैट वर्ड सबसे जरूरी क्या है इसमें सबसे पहली चीज Indexing yes, indexing is the approach. Keyword planning. Ravi Jyoti is right. Keyword is the most important, isn't it? Because you search on the think about on the side. You are on to the supplying side. Uh, users are on to the buying side. Who is searching for you? What is that one word which is connecting? That is keyword. So if you want your web pages to be optimized, yes, content. Content keyword is one and the same thing, but keyword is the basic breakup of that content, right? So. <clears throat> so you have the link over here is keyword kyunki agar mujhe koi cheez search karni hai main search engine optimization se search engine ki taraf ja raha hu sorry search engine se search engine optimization ki taraf ja raha hu to i would not type the whole content because i'm looking for the content i'll type as a user i'll type the keyword on the other hand you are on to the supplying side you look for yaar ye wale keyword ke liye mera content is suitable or my audience could click this keyword or that keyword or that keyword or that keyword and then i should be on the top right so keyword is the main uh, funda behind it yes it will come to meta tag uh, meta description and all that one by one but uh, let us describe the concept in a very basic and layman terms then only it will be a long period into your mind uh, for a better seo do we need to have many pages on my site uh i tends to disagree 
uh, your website should be a different product so uh, you should have a limited number of project uh, pages as per you want your website pro as a product should have try to make only those pages more and more seo so it is not uh, it should not be like zyada pages means zyada wo balki zyada pages can be a little on the downside in fact on the upside uh, like ravi joth has already answered that it should be precise uh, and in fact don't even think how many numbers while you are creating a website or developing a website or managing a website just don't think about how many pages uh, if you compare a flipkart with let's say take me an example give me an example uh, shopping site ka koi aura example lete hain like for example car selling site koi car selling e-commerce site hai agar hai bhi main naam bhul raha hu so in that case flipkart will have anyways more number of pages because of the volume of products they are offering right so don't think about how many pages it's only whatever page you create should be optimized to the best level okay you mean more content yes content should be optimum uh, uh, and it also depends on the nature of the content when we just progress in half an hour more or 45 minutes from now we'll get to this question that how many uh, how much of content is more weighted so a lesser content means a lesser chances yes and in fact in that content also there has to be a good number of repetitions of your keyword even that is the count yeah we'll get to see the practical uh, example of rishikan what you have just asked just wait for few more minutes right uh, yeah so keyword is the one word and in order to have that keyword we do a keyword research and analysis and ki kaun sa keyword ko hame pick karna chahiye nahi karna chahiye because uh we we could be a little uh, you know uh what should i say a little dicey of what all keyword i should concentrate because you cannot concentrate on all the keywords which come into your mind it's sometimes we have waste of time also and time and effort also and in fact there should be a limitation of focal keywords and not you know too many keywords should be uh, focused upon once making a such uh optimize for a page right so in order to do do that we could take an help of a adword wala tool but it will help us out uh so in order to do that the first thing which i do is i go to a keyword in the google adwords there is a tool called keyword planner yeah so you click over here and you land up in this kind of page and you could see uh, how a keywords are been performed into the adwords activity and it all but basically search activity so you'll get the idea and you will be able to plan it uh, now it is not mandatory that you have to follow it let me tell you there will be few trainers who will say that this is the first step you have to follow it no i i tend to disagree over here the the first information comes from your basic client if you can do a primary search which could be a little expensive that these are my target and you just go directly to them somehow and ask them ki agar aapko is product ke liye search karna ho to aap kya kya searches karte hain and you just make a list of it that is the best example sometimes you may not even need that this is needed when you have that kind of exhaustive list and then you want to check out what is the action happening on those keywords so this is the tool to help that thing out and will have a further filtration uh, but even if you don't use it doesn't matter but uh, i'll recommend it because the more scientific you go the better it is right so you go towards searching a new keyword and let's take an example for e-commerce let's take ashalata as example ashalata you are offering tea i guess right pahadi tree if if i'm not wrong yes so let us take a journal keyword right now t uh you already have your e-commerce website right uh can i know the uh, landing page for it please
So how do you tee? Oh, I anyways was underestimating my memory. I have a good memory. <laughs> you know, that's it. Uh, so you put up a landing page. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I guess it's all right now, right? And you can select the product category even if you want to ignore this. You can ignore it. And then you want to search, let's say you are you want to search that all over India how many searches have been done. So you can type India and you want to go region specific, you can do that, Delhi NCR and all that. So you can do that. And then you save and then you click on get ideas. Once you read that, click on to keyword ideas. And you could see here that green tea has been searched. Search on an average monthly basis of 50,000 searches. Competition is very high. Uh, this is an AdWord tool, a tool where you have to pay monies for that, those keywords. So it is also suggesting a bid price. As of now, you can ignore it because we are covering search engine optimization right now yeah so that is our objective so so now you have to make a let's see if they have pahari tea so it gives you a direct relation right we could also type pahari tea directly and search for it so don't worry about that but i'm just taking a glimpse over here darjeeling tea jasmine tea and all that so this probably are the variants which you probably will be offering so you can just search for it now you want a complete list so you can just click on download and save it as an excel <coughs> save file and open it See here. So, ad group is something that you can ignore. These are the keywords. These are the keywords. All right. This is not that important. You can just delete it. This is all right. In fact, it is giving you a so you can just delete it. Now you try to select and filter down. There are 801 keywords which have come related to that. And that could be an exhaustive list of what you have made due to a primary research or your own understanding or talking to your peer group in the business. And you somehow made a list of. And then this is the stage where you are filtering down on what all keywords I should be concentrating. I will open uh, Acharata your website as well parallelly in order because you don't optimize the website as a whole you optimize pages so we'll concentrate on every page uh, not literally every page right now but to give an example right first thing first if you are optimizing a website or in other words some of pages of that website do not concentrate directly towards the activity like planning me chale jao fatafat se keyword list karne lag jao don't do that first check out the product hai kya jisko mujhe optimize karna hai so i'm just i'm checking it out over here that we have various sub category pages right in t we have if we cross linking we both are pages ka hoga then all right we have black tea green tea white tea, and these are the pages so for black tea i need to optimize it separately the page ultimately land over sure it's okay you may take a leave right this way So you just check out the site and the next thing which you do is that I've been offering so many green, white, 
oolong chai herbal tea iced tea and all that and that way you select over here let's say tea to karna hi chahiye so you can just color code it green tea we am offering so if somebody searches for green tea oolong tea yes for example tea infuser is something which you are not offering so you can ignore it and hibiscus tea you are not uh, offering you can ignore it so this way you select it the next you do is uh, for example herbal tea and all that the next thing you do is even even in, in the selected first filter the filtration will go to multiple level this is the first filtration that whatever i have been offering onto the website i'll only try to concentrate that the next i'll do is i'll try to see mere ko wo word pe concentrate karna chahiye jahan pe competition medium hai ya bahut zyada hai the idol we are looking about is it is it, it will be your choice now there is different view amongst the trainers or who whoever is search engine optimizer many people say ki high competitive word ko mat karo because it will take a hell lot of time and it is so competitive that you will ultimately will not land up on to the thing uh concentrate on the medium and the lower things and that way you will be able to show the results uh but according to me uh, that is how an agency who is working for a different client uh, if for example if i am the agency for pahadti.com probably that is the modus operandi i'll follow because at the end of the day the faster the result the better the payment for me but if my i am pahari t its itself i would not go away with the searches which has been searched most or jiske keyword itne expensive hai 45 16 rupees so what is my other way of approaching main itne paise kyun kharch karu jab main search engine se kar sakta it will take some time so what let it be so in fact i would not ignore these kinds of keywords so i'll keep do these kinds of keywords so the, the next stage is according to your modus operandi according to your understanding you filter down a limited keywords it can be 10 20 50 80 100 odd keyword depending upon how big your site is for site like pahadi.com i will probably end up in 30 40 odd keywords on even lesser than that somewhere around 20 25 keywords yeah Community is very competitive keyword, so we should focus on medium only to get good results. What is good results? I mean, according to you, what is good result? Good flow? No. If if good flow is a good result according to you, then I should concentrate on high competition because the maximum flow is happening from that. A good result uh, according to you, if you say that you will concentrate on medium or low. is that when searched the result happens fast jaldi se optimize ho jaye and within a span of one month or one and a half months my ranking improves and it comes on to the top if that is the idea concentrate on low and medium if that is not the idea and the idea is to have maximum traffic then let it be aapko 3 mahine 6 mahine bhi lag sakte hain ek saal bhi lag sakta hai but you will after that you will have a good concentration of results because what is the hindsight agar main medium aur low mein karunga aur high competitive keyword ko nahi lunga like tea aur green tea jitna delay karunga main utna dur hota ja raha hu because this competition will keep on increasing today is for 45 rupees tomorrow it will go 70 rupees will we i be able to afford it no and what is the other side the other side is let's concentrate on optimizing it जल्दी रिजल्ट नहीं मिलेगा देर मिलेगा बट रिजल्ट तो सही मिलेगा गॉट इट नाउ दिस इज माई वे ऑफ लुकिंग इन टू थिंग्स आई मीन दिस प्रॉब्लली कैन नॉट बी एंड इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन प्रोडक्ट टू प्रोडक्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव टू ऑब्जेक्टिव सिचुएशन टू सिचुएशन एंड वाई नॉट आस्क आशा लता हु इज बेसिकली दी ओनर ऑफ दिस बिजनेस वट इज योर व्यू आशा लता इफ यू दिस इज इस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू वुड यू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन हाई competitive keyword or medium or low competitive keyword and let everybody contribute it depends yes you are right 
Anybody who is having a contrary view of what should be taken? <coughs> and uh, uh, I mean, and others, I'm not saying that only concentrate on high competitive. I'm not saying that concentrate on medium and low as well because you have so many pages to optimize. But do not leave away high competitive. That is what I want to say. Yeah. Yes, Achalata, and if you want the orders to be real fast, then concentrate on AdWords. It's a slow cooking. It's a cooking on a slow medium. Search engine optimization. It's like a sim me cook karna. Overnight dal pakana or bukhara ki dal morning me jake khana. That is the example. You want to get visible to in focus over drive it now. Yeah. So Rishi Kant is saying hi, but Shivam is also saying hi, but uh, do not carry it away what I'm discussing. What I'm saying is we have so many pages and every page is have its differential value. So if I'm concentrating on home page, I should concentrate on tea and green tea kind of words, which are highly competitive. But when I'm focusing a literally uh, inside pages, then I can concentrate on medium and low level uh, keywords as well and I'm not saying that do not for, do not take away medium because a medium kind of word can be a high tomorrow so better to catch it today only uh, but I'm, what I'm saying is it should be a mix you should not completely ignore high uh, I'm sorry but I have been talking to few SEO guys and especially those working in as an agent they they even touch high competitive keyword and that is something which I got pissed off as a marketer because where I'm getting the most traffic from, I'm just ignoring it. Just to show that my result will come very quickly. But it's not a job at the end of the day. Yeah, Rishi Kant is saying, I'll go by questions one by one. Rishi Kant is saying, why not focus on top 20 keywords? Yes, this can be your idea modus operandi of going about it but then that way you are ignoring low and medium level altogether so you are only concentrating on high even that is a bad strategy uh, the reason is the result will not be faster one uh, even if it's take time it will not be to that good level because it is very very high competitive word second uh, is even it makes sense to have a medium and low level because your product probably will be offering that like for example it is a medium uh, what should I say black tea is a medium but could be a an offering in uh, Pahari tea's kitty a good offering into that so concentrate on that right herbal tea is, is little on the higher side not on a this Darjeeling tea is to that extent so you have to have a good portfolio. It's like a financial portfolio. Sara debt may be mat lagao, sara equity pay me mat lagao. Stock market may be pura paisa mat thakgo, or slow running debt equity term loans and is type pay bhi mat karo. Right? So Rishikan, this is my answer, but it is up to you. You want to concentrate on that. You as in upon the strategy at that point of time, it could be one of the strategies. And if you want to do that, just Put a filter over here and concentrate on high competitive. Amin uh, is saying if we are doing business, we should focus on sales or search results. In particular, a uh, very good question. Uh, it comes with the uh, understanding a little uh, uh, a little background. Uh, Achalata, if you could just let us know how many years this Pahadi tea has come into existence. Pahadi.com four months so it's relatively new and things must have been streamlining right now Abhi to streamline be properly new so in that point of time concentrate my idea is of course you have to concentrate on both uh, but concentrate on search if if she doesn't have an external funding right now it's only a bootstrap company or apne paise lage mein aur jaldi se jaldi result dikhana hai taaki further ya to investment mil jaye ya agar wo investment nahi bhi jaate so she wants she's concentrating more on profits if that is the reason 
then she should concentrate on sales and in order to do, do that if she had the funds go with adwords but if she is going for search engine optimization then uh, it is better that it sh she should go with a mix of uh, a high competitive she should not ignore high competitive because as a user this is the first thing i'll put agar mujhe darling tea leni hai specifically tabhi main darling tea lunga lekin agar mere ko tea leni hai to main tea type karunga so concentrate on high concent as well as on the medium or whatever you are offering the second level of suggestion which i want to make or my contribution everybody is free to contribute because it's an open question is you have a good right in the starting you have a versatile horizontal horizontally you have so many offerings if i go to the website i see that there are good number of offerings yes bahut sare offerings hai isme sampler bhi hai ye hai wo hai you know caffeine level ke hisab se bhi aapne differentiate kar rakha hai but on the type also there are 3 3 6 and 7 different offerings so whatever you feel is this searches are going trend uh, going a trend towards uh, that will also reflect how people are buying uh, try to make three or maximum four products as your major driver products and try to sell that so concentrate on those and ultimately the other three will carried away with itself so uske tarah zyada concentrate karo rather than the other go yeah so that will be my answer that go on the search results first because the more competitive the business is the more number of inquiries and searches people do and the more influence they become then only they'll buy so you may think that डायरेक्टली लोग बाय कर लेंगे ऐसा नहीं होएगा जो जितना कॉम्पिटेटिव बिजनेस होता है उसमें उतना ज्यादा टाइम पीपल स्पेंड इन इंक्वायरिंग एंड इन हैविंग अ गुड कनेक्ट विद द ब्रांड एंड देन ओनली दे बाय दैट इवन इफ इट्स एन इंपल्सिव प्रोडक्ट लाइक टी बिकॉज आप शेल्फ पे तो हो नहीं आप ई कॉमर्स में हो सो वो इंपल्सिवनेस बहुत कम हो जाती है इन दैट केस गॉट इट फ्रेंड्स Shall I move ahead? Okay. The last intent was uh, Ashara that I was saying, and then I'll move ahead. Was that uh, like the question was asked? That we should sales pe concentrate karna chahiye ya searches pe? Uh, searches pe bhi zara karna chahiye because your product is a highly competitive product, and in a highly competitive product, one thing we have to keep in mind is that. Whoever is buying ultimately buyer. वो buy करने से पहले there are various stages which is come across. Searches is one of those stages where they are inquiring about the product or they are exploring the product. They will like it, then only they will buy it. So in high competition में क्या होता है? The people spend time more on that part of the pyramid where they search for it, they look for it, they try and compare different uh, websites and whatever. And since yours is an impulsive product. Uh, in marketing language that does everybody know what is impulsive product and non impulsive product just quickly answer that i won't take too much of time okay shubham says no ashana ta also says no impulsive is once you go to a, don't compare it with e-commerce right now just compare it with a traditional thing you go to a shop and aapko samne bahut acha laga chocolate aapne le liya aapko cold drink acha laga aapne le liya so it's impulsive You are buying impulsively. Impulse का हिंदी कैसे बोलूँ मैं? Uh, I mean बहुत जल्दी आप decision ले लेते हैं आपको एक attract करता है वो. So you are impulsive, right? So you impulsively buy that those products. Where are there are certain products in nature which are non-impulsive. जिसमें आप बहुत time लगाते हो. Like for example tire. उससे कोई कुछ hormones increase नहीं होते. It's a boring product, right? Instantly, right? So instantly is the one word impulsive. So tea coffee chocolates chips these are impulsive products whereas tires refrigerators tv you know uh, doors furniture these are non impulsive products so yours is an impulsive product the more the impulsive more competition more competition more spending on terms of uh, getting it attracted the way and the challenge which you have is ki impulsive ka sabse 
बड़ा प्लस पॉइंट होता है पैकेजिंग एंड शेल्फिंग पे प्लेस कैसा है और आपको रिटेलर ने कितनी वेटेज दी हुई है वो सब कुछ भी नहीं है ई कॉमर्स में वही वाला जेपैक आप भी यूज करते हो फ्रेंकली जो कोई और यूज करता है मोरल लेस राइट अच्छा लगता है सो यू डू नॉट हैव दी एडवांटेज ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ गुड पैकेज अराउंड और लाइक दैट यू आर लिमिटेड टू अर्च इट सो आप सेल्स करना चाहोगे स्टार्टिंग में बहुत ज्यादा बट इफ यू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ओनली ऑन सेल्स अल्टीमेटली यू विल लैंड अप इन नॉट डूइंग अ गुड सेल ऑल टूगेदर आई एम नॉट सींग अबाउट यू पर्टिकुलरली एम जस्ट टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल दैट अ प्रोडक्ट लाइक दीज एम्पल्स प्रोडक्ट और फैशन प्रोडक्ट्स में दिस इज द सेम चैलेंज विच आई एम फेसिंग विद वुमन या डॉट कॉम माई साइट एंड आई एम बिल वेरी ओपन टू डिस्कस दैट दो वीमेन शॉप अ लॉट बट वुमेनिया पे वी आर फेसिंग द सेम प्रॉब्लम दैट वी if we try to concentrate more towards selling it we ultimately land up in doing so many things which are not useful which ultimately doesn't sell so don't concentrate on selling concentrate on aura around it and you'll see that it may take a certain time but ultimately it will be so robust that people will go on buying that because if you search is any keyword related or important keyword related to tea and i see that pahadi tea.com always comes on top without even they spending on ads Uh, even after three months or six months, I will see to yar, ye koi achhi side hogi yar, ye baar baar aari hai yar upar. Ya main sabse pehle usi pe click karunga, aur main char baar agar dekh lunga, to fir main usi se buy karunga, right? So that is my way of put, looking into things. Your view can be different. Good. Shall we go ahead? I'm sorry, I'm going very very slow. All right. Uh, sorry. the next thing which you do is you just filter it down let's say you filter down to 50 20 or keywords the next thing you should do is abhi ek hypothetically example ke liye ye upar ke ye aise select kar lete hain theek hai pure list mein se just to give an example now what next you do is ab us now there is two way you can do about it aap keyword ke hisab se uh, you can map your urls your pages और या आप यू के हिसाब से कीवर्ड को मैप कर लो आप कुछ भी एक चीज कर लो तो मेक अ डिफरेंट एक्सेल शीट वेयर व्हाट यू डू इज लाइक ब्लैक टी और लेट से ग्रीन टी तो ग्रीन टी से ओरिएंटेड ये ग्रीन टी है इसके लिए मेरा यू होना चाहिए दिस वन सो ग्रीन टी दिस इज माई यू So, इसको आप लिख दो मैप यू आर एल सो यू कैन डू लाइक दिस और वट यू कैन डू इज कि आपने पहले मैप कर लिया कि मेरे ये डिफरेंट पेजेस थे और इसके लिए मेरे पास कौन कौन से की वर्ड होने चाहिए तो यू कैन डू दी अदर वे राउंड ऑफ अदर वे राउंड विल बी लाइक दिस ये वाला ग्रीन टी वाला पेज था इसके लिए फिर मैंने यहाँ एनालिसिस से देख लिया कि इससे एसोसिएटेड में ये वाले की वर्ड्स ले लूंगा तो फर्स्ट की वर्ड इज ग्रीन टी लेट्स कलर कोड इट लेट्स ये वाले को हमने कर दिया ग्रीन कलर और इससे रिलेटेड मैं सबको ग्रीन कलर कर दूंगा जिसको मैं लेना चाहता हूँ लेट्स इवन इफ समी सर्च फॉर टी आई वॉन्टेड टू बी कमिंग इट टू ग्रीन टी पेज ओनली फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो आई डन दैट और लेट से इफ समी सर्च फॉर जिंजर टी देन इट शुड कम और इट कुड बी एनी अदर की वर्ड लेट मी सी Let's say somebody search for tea leaves, not tea leaves. Let's give it a shot. Tea leaves. Tea leaves. Green tea capsules. Then it should land up to my this page because probably I will not be offering capsules, but ultimately, कोई कैप्सूल का भी सर्च कर रहा है, वो शायद मेरा green tea खरीद ले. So I've color coded it that way. So. it is up to you how would, how you want to map it so green tea is a keyword you probably look for a keyword first and then map it to your page or the ideal way is look for a page kyunki aap page optimize kar rahe ho first look for a page and uske pages pe aapke paas jo total list hai aap usme se select kar lo and that selection can be also number of high competitive or medium competitive lena hai so ek bar filter down karne ke baad you select it should we have a limit on the number of keywords Yes, it is suggested not to go beyond three per page. I am 
sorry to say but i have no idea why does they say that because on a technical know how how developers and how search engine crawlers and robots work in that kind of formation probably that is the reason uh, but it has been suggested that one should not cross more than three words so it should be one to three words uh, and let us follow that yeah so that probably is how the searches will give the best results all right uh, so we map that the so next thing what we do is we list down the keywords let's say for example abhi yahi likh dete hain green tea tea and uh, what was that green tea capsule right green tea capsule now if this is oh, sorry so you basically map it like that इससे यू विल गेट दी आइडिया आप कौन से पेज को ऑप्टिमाइज कर रहे हैं कितना कर रहे हैं सो इट गिव्स यू अ गुड फॉर्मेशन द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज टैग्स वेलकम टू टैग्स नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज आप पेज पे जाएंगे और उस पेज को टैग करने की कोशिश करेंगे ऑलराइट अगेन टेक इट मेटाफेरिकली डोंट टेक इट लिटरली गाइस अब मेरे को पेज ऑप्टिमाइज करना है मैंने ये ढूंढ लिया कि ये कीवर्ड सर्च करने पर मेरा ये वाला पेज आ जाना चाहिए लिस्टिंग में अप टू दिस स्टेज आई हैव डन दैट नाउ द कंसंट्रेटेड एफर्ट ऑफ ऑप्टिमाइजेशन स्टार्ट्स कि मेरे को कैसे उसको ऑप्टिमाइज करना है राइट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट वट पेज यू हैव यू हैव टू टैग इट and now comes the main part of it which is this yeah so let's say we have a site since we do not have admin of it we am um, let's say we have a nikhilgrover.com on us ke admin panel pe hai uh wordpress mein so a cms based approach mein aapko bhi bata raha hu uh how do you do it on a uh, on a coding part that i can't let you know so uh, in this i'll let you know so you go to plugins and you install a plugin which helps us out in an seo for every page and this is the one of the most used and best advised plugin uh which is seo by yoast i've already done that but what process you by use okay this is concentrating on already on yes you have to see you so once you in you search for it and you install it once you install it it will come on over here like this and also come into your installed and activated plugins like seo used this is on the facade how it looks like once it comes but now you will see that for every page every article or whatever your theme is supporting uh you could see that there will be like i'm taking this for example right now learning digital marketing it's a post which i have written think it uh, that this is the ultimate page which you are optimizing it you can also parallelly imagine the the example which i have already taken 
a green tea wala so let's say this is the this is the page and now you are doing the optimization part so the first thing first uh this is the heading and this is the matter and you come into this part now here what the tagging is going on whatever page is there and there are different crawlers in uh, in google which try to pick up your site your page when a word is searched for a keyword is searched for so how would they know about that page they would know about that page through this a meta tags so wo tag wo label us page pe lage hue hain jisse wo us page ko pehchan pate hain in layman terms so over here when charukan say say that my name is khan it is the meta tag the title tag which is it's using right now and is naming it which is this over here so the main heading the main name right this is the url and when i say that i am not a terrorist he is describing himself and it is meta description so in coding language this meta is the tag these tags and there are two three types of tags i'll also come to alternative tags and all that but for a page you should try to uh, take a metaphorical example that this is the name and the description which has been put so here if i want to promote this page i can put down the name over here and the focal keyword over here so first i am putting the focus keyword let's say i for if everybody if anybody wants to search for digital marketing then my this page or this post should come from the top so i put digital marketing as one i can also put learning digital marketing as the focal keyword and if if we were been promoting let's say uh, that green tea and the tea wala example then we would have been writing green tea over here right and you see that this and then there is this description if there is no meta description like this been put over here then it by default will take the content uh, part of it the first few lines of the content so you see that whatever content the page has which is this digital marketing is now an essential tool of marketing today every brand big or small manufacturer retailer provider and this is you see that this is how it has picked up but it has been uh, advised and i'll also advise it that you should write down the meta description because you should not write down on the basis of, only on the basis of the content uh, that the search engine should pick you should also think on the perspective if somebody search for it what could attract him so you write down that digital marketing is uh, is must learn today use words which are more prominent to come like online sessions and offline sessions both are provided uh, by me since i'm writing for myself i'm writing it and you will be writing for green tea or any other product you will be writing accordingly by me for dmp now this meta title tag this is uh prescribed should be around 50 to 60 words 60 letters space is counted uh, amongst it so please make a note of that that 
this is best advisable to be around 55 56 words the ideal is 56 to 60 words which machines picks up so it picks up 512 megapixels in that 50 to 60 words is what it comes so if it will be more than 60 words it will uh, the this plugin will let you know that please do not use that right and for a description it is somewhere around 150 to 170 odd characters so ideally it is around 150 odd characters 150 150 560 if you cross that it becomes red i'll take an and it will let you know that please do not cross it like for example let's keep on writing digital marketing immersion today online session and offline session both are provided by me for dmp and uh, uh, it covers various modules including including SEO social media LT. It has become red. So what is saying is do not do that it is best advisable to be within the limit which is around 150 55 odd characters at the maximum 170 odd characters yeah then see here yeah uh, and uh, Vishigan this will answer you as well did this text contain 142 all words since it's a blog uh, it is saying that it is well below 300 characters recommended minimum so please give a more content towards it so it is best advisable that you should go to a content window and put a content over here then a meta description which is this what is i'll give you an example like if i search digital marketing learn digital marketing this one is meta title this is met url and this is meta description right this is meta description professional training seo tinder today this is url this is meta uh, title right all right the score is low you should concentrate over here to increase the score the keyword density is good and this is how it has mentioned that these are the green signals these are good to go and these are not so good to go like focus keyword doesn't appear in the first paragraph of the copy so it is better that you should the more you follow this rules the better uh, Rishi, uh, Rishi I'll just answer that the more you follow these rules the better it is uh, for, you know for search engine to choose you up so so let's say I write learning digital marketing which was my let's see if it has changed anything let's see here all right so it it has removed that that error at uh, that suggestion a red base suggestion right so there are few things which you have to keep in mind Rishikant I'll just come to that first your keyword should be on to the URL link so it is anyways there digital uh, learning digital marketing so it should be here if it is not there edit it and write it down Second, it should be on to the basic content and at the start on to the headings on to this and if you're making a heading go and select it as heading right then create a good number of backlinks uh, which is concentrated towards the keyword cross linking and all that so you can also put a cross linking so for example if i'm writing a content on green tea i put a cross linking towards the other page of my site which is there onto the green uh, buying green teas and all that how to do is very easy that you 
select i'm just taking an example you select this word which you want a cross linking an internal or external and you select a url landing page and then add link and it will become a linking kind of thing so for here we have done that so if you go on to the front end of the site you will see that these are the links which are working okay rishikant now i'll answer tags are same as keywords no tags are basically for such things tags are basically you put a label towards it so these are the tags your keyword can be a focal keyword can be different so you can change it but it is advisable that your meta tag and your focal keyword should be same so that systems understand it correctly uh then what is backlink backlink is this like i've said sorry now if you see if i click this it'll click on to the other page i'll take an example from the front end of this site we have to update it first so let's say i have updated it and i open up nikhilgrover.com i go to particular blog i was doing seo for and i see that this is and if i click over here i land up to a a different page so it is a backlink for digital marketing partshala site right so this is a backlink this is one of the prominent off page uh, optimization for dmp so i have written it down in nikhilgrover.com which is a different site and i have provided a backlink to dmp and the same way you get more backlinks you will get a good reputation uh, right uh, in terms of google so jai is that you are a good site to rank higher clear till here everybody clear till here all right so include your focal keyword on to the meta tag uh, title tag include it into the description here it is not done so i will do that include it write a good uh, description for every page recommended concentrate around 150 to 160 odd words concentrate around 55 56 to 50 to 55 words for this meta tag your uh, focal keyword should be a part of url and then on content based these are the suggestions which is offering and follow these suggestions and practice that for every page so this is what you should do uh then there is a concept of anchor testing and cross linking cross linking can be internal external we have just experienced one over here when we have given a external cross linking and suppose suppose that uh, here i want to give an internal cross linking as in if somebody clicks on to let's say search engine optimization over here then i have written an article on search engine optimization a different article and i put a link an internal link uh, i'll answer revikan just now just let me complete this so you go over here and you write down the www. i i have i don't have right now so i'm just taking an example and i get chayan nikhil grover dot com slash let's have written on search engine optimization and that this is the url once you do that and get an okay it will become an internal cross linking so the more linking the more usage the more uh, better indexing basically right so this is the concept of 
cross linking that you have been connected and uh, what is anchor text let me tell you what is anchor text let's open this only where is her site here so if i go over here pahadi tree this is this text this text is not anchor text i cannot move further uh, rishikant i'll i'll just answer you but if i click over here it is anchored to a different page or if i click over here the one which are clickable are the anchor text so it basically land up to a different uh, page or a different url so this is the more you use it the better it is inside the page it is not that you should use it beyond optimal levels but the more linkages the more uh, you know uh, tendency of spending more time into the site the better the ranking will be uh vishikant is saying everyone will be using same tools helping them to optimize how do we get better results and others very good question uh, i'll answer that you mean there is better to have happen yes i'm saying that it is better to have hyperlinks or hyperlinks are the main prominent off page optimization tool the better uh, see basically you should be getting good good knowledge and good uh, what should i say uh, a good status so it is not that you should have all the hyperlinks within the site within the page it is that you should be getting hyperlinks from other sites and getting your site as a backlink uh site so digital marketing part shala through my blog got a backlink now that is advantages for them the same way uh somehow you have to make an alignment where you are getting a good backlinks the more hyperlinks you are getting to your site your ranking will be higher the indexing will be better all right rishikant it's a good question that everyone will be will be using the same tools how do we get better results the the idea is to stick around it and these tools are half the story these are online on page tools the more offline tool uh, of page tools and online page combination will give you results and that is why you eventually have to wait because the results will take time more people will be clicking beyond you know in a certain period of duration and this is how your indexing will be improving it so that is why we call it highly competitive and that is the the way uh, it takes time and that is the reason why agencies concentrate on medium medium and lower level keywords because that way it becomes relatively fast to reach so you mean it is better to have okay what are the parameters so that i can gauge that my seo is really delivering it is the end result which you see uh so you just concentrate on these parameters and uh, gradually with you know uh with let's say after 15 days and after every one month you can check it out immediate results are very difficult to find it can only be found when there is very very low competition on particular keywords and the keywords are very precise uh, and there is you know not great competition on the keyword and you are optimally doing it and even that case it is not guaranteed any sites which can help me as in to get the better results these are the plugins which could help you if you are using cms and if you are developing site you can just go back to the developer and they can probably help you out better in that so i'm not aware of that uh, uh, as soon as i'll get aware of that i'll probably share it with you in the next coming sessions all right so okay then there are a few uh, concepts uh, which we'll discuss right now a concept of broken broken link robot.txt and site map uh, a broken link is something which you should not have in your website a broken link is let's say for example 
I click on over here and it ultimately doesn't end up in you know in a page a 404 error or something like that so the more people do that the lesser you know the indexing go, goes diminishing and let's say for example take an example let's say let's take this only right so let's say I have pahadi.com slash I'm just taking a hypothetical example once I do that I'm sorry the internet or the system is getting a little slow so this page is not available so basically it's a broken link over here right the link is not working I've just taken an hypothetical example Karthikan is saying what is the effective way to write meta tag it should have a focal keyword that is the most effective way of writing it and it should be limited towards uh, 55 60 odd characters yeah so this is this page is not working so it's a broken link so you should also check it out time to time that your website by mistake doesn't have a broken link so for example if I click on chai and it has a broken link and the page is not getting displayed to whatever reasons I should concentrate over here that it is not having that in order to have that we have a tool with a website name oh yes it is <laughs> I liked it uh, frankly I said it is to the point and precise website But there are few things which I am finding in little uh, improval areas, which I'll discuss afterwards, right? Kamal, you want to say something? Uh, okay, I was saying about broken links, so you can go to brokenlinks.com, uh, brokenlinkcheck.com, and then here you can put your uh, site name and check it out. Let's check for your site only, Achalata. Just pahadi.com it is asking for captcha let's put it 3d or red art so everybody know why why there is captcha why there is security god asked everybody knows that I mean says yes anybody who doesn't know that yes for robots and that ultimately in a layman term to check it out that there is no machine uh, which is working uh, over here and there is no repetition over here so it is only a human which is using that that is the reason it does and you can see that it is checking if it has a broken link or doesn't have a broken link so you will see uh, in the meanwhile I'll just say one line you will see that search engine optimization basically optimizing your web page and taking out various error trying to make it as okay now it found one page as a this page so you can just work it out and put it across Achalata. right and there are websites which make a very good broken link website uh, page also a creative one like for example I checked out for snapdeal if I'm not wrong snapdeal.com slash like this lost your way set no more you know go and explore to a different page creative uh, putting a 404 error 
सो यू कैन जस्ट चेक आउट दिस पेज हासिल आता है करेक्टेड सेम वे यू कैन एवरीबडी ऑफ आस कैन डू दैट सो द लेसर द ब्रोकन लाइन द बेटर इट इज फॉर आस now let's move to another concept we are coming towards the end of the session uh, we'll just cover these topics thank you uh, robot.txt shubham uh, let us know what is this let's make it a little interactive in general terms i call it the instructor which instructs the uh, search engine but can you just let us know what is robot.txt we got uh, because uh, rishikant 10 laddu hain thali mein aur 100 bimar hai 1000 100 bimar and that is the reason gradually with the time when when the traffic increases on the website on on searching those particular keywords you have been searched on page and off page both parallelly working uh google sees you a better uh, gives your page a better ranking with beyond the time with the more usage and a helpful usage it is getting in the outer space where people are talking about through backlinks and in your internal uh, efficient approvals and that is and for that reason it requires time it cannot be an overnight thing because on the top listings everybody is fighting for that page on a for particular keywords got it oh sorry i thought because you were saying anything i'm so sorry shubham i thought you know okay kamal has come and said no way uh, can some experts get it in a shorter time i don't think so because uh optimization even will have something in your boundaries like home page and many thing which is out of your boundaries like other people talking about it traffic getting increase your page search more clicked more talked about more backlink more this is out of your reach and it requires time so you just cannot do that and that is the reason probably kamal is saying no way all right what is ro- robot.txt it is basically uh, a file into roots of your uh, website a root file uh, this file basically instructs different search engines that these are the pages you should index and these are the pages you should not index so this is the main instructor towards the search engine from our site is the main guy who talks to the search engine and says this to do and this not to do with my site right and in layman terms this is this is that person and technically it is robot.txt it's a file which is written on a, a txt format or notepad format uh like for example okay karthikeyan is asking a question i'll just karthikeyan let me complete robot.txt and then i'll uh, answer your question so for example i am let's take ashalata site let's take both nikhilgrover.com/robots.txt and this is how in a notepad you write where you are saying like this you say user agent user agent is basically search engine colon slash shift 8 asterisk and saying that this allow this particular page if somebody search for it this allow this page to be indexed now what can be the reason why websites even want to disallow certain pages amongst their website to be shown oh sorry am i audible now am i better audible now
Am I better audible now? Muted. Unmuted. Guys, am I audible now? All right. Is the voice from proper? I'm sorry, there was some connection problem. All right. So you can ask your developer to code it and put it in uh, WordPress. It comes as a default. So you can disallow certain pages to be indexed to be searched upon. Okay, I'll start with uh, robot.txt. Robot.txt in general terms, in a layman terms, is basically the main instructor guy in your website who instruct search engines how to uh, do searches related to your website so he's he's that front end wala guy right his responsibility is to let search engine know that these are the while doing a searcher while doing an indexing these are the pages you should concentrate on indexing and these are the pages you should not concentrate on indexing so you had and this is rooted into the root file of a website so a developer will make a robot.txt file and root it amongst the root side of the website with CMSs like WordPress and other CMSs, it comes as a default. Like when I've typed, when I've typed nickelgrover.com slash, which is a, a WordPress CMS site, uh, slash robots.txt, it is coming as default. But I'm just letting you know the meaning of it, right? <clears throat> so let's say we are working for. Uh, Pahadi dot uh, dot com, so she can instruct that user agent which is uh, search engines colon asterisk asterisk means for all search engines disallow this particular page slash let's say payments ka koi page hai. this she don't want because there is information of the customer over here or login page and she doesn't want it to be indexed or searched upon. So it will disallow. So search engine will not be able to search it. Got it? So there will be certain pages where you do not want it to be shown. And this is the file which you take the help of. So you can just make a list of it, write it down, and then give it to your developer if in case it's not a CMS based site and says that you have any sites go up or you have pages go up, uh, make it disallow. Got it? Uh, you can remind me of uh, answering the question which you have asked. I'll just check it out what question. Can you repeat the question? Just copy paste. I'm not able to find it. We are just on the about. There is only one topic which is left. I mean one subtopic. Uh, can why don't you just quickly ask that question? Or let me complete that and then I'll answer you, right? So there is only last topic which is left for today. And that is this sitemap.xml. Now, now these are the two files which we are discussing robot.txt and I've known the purpose of it. And the second is sitemap.xml. This is again rooted onto the development of your site. The, the idea behind uh, sitemap.xml file is 
to let the search engine know what all pages you have in the website right so it will help the crawlers to look for all those pages you like pahadi.com probably would have 45 50 odd pages into the website so in in terms of that 30 40 odd pages by putting the sitemap.txt xml file into the uh, into the development of the website into the main file of the website on the root file of the website the search engine knows that these are the all the pages and are listed onto the website and it will able to search all the pages into it right there is a there is a tool similar to broken sites wala tool that way there is a similar tool uh, called site map site maps.com i guess no site dash map site yeah xml dot site site maps network. and you can see that let's put for hardy t dot com Okay, for 500 pages, it will give you a free offering. So till you will see that it will list down all the an error occurred. Okay. For hard to I don't know what is oh yes Rishikan there will be many don't worry about that you will find many in fact I'll also let you know a few couple of them uh, anyways let me see if it reads nickelgrover.com Yeah, I even I'm not sure. Why don't you just ask your developer if in case you have uh, given this responsibility to a developer? So you could see that it has shown the results and you can download the file over here. Yeah, probably. I'm sorry, I do not have a freezing with me. This is, frankly, these two robots.txt and uh, sitemap.html. It is not XML. It is not uh, a mandatory requirement for a digital marketer. This has just been included in the course, and you need to know what are the, you know, uh, related to search engines what are the concepts being introduced by developers so that is why we are discussing that anyway we have seen the results now let me take Ravi Khan's question Kartikan is asking how to check the speed of the website opens uh, that we can also check it out on Google Analytics so for anything which is related to website Kartikan one will cover a different session on Google Analytics there we could see what is the response time of the pages, what is the, uh, you know, traffic falling from which part of the country or from which part of the world and what are the response timings to the different pages. This we can see on Google Analytics. So there is a tool called Google Analytics where you can 
check out whatever is happening onto your website, the responses that you can check. We'll cover a different session or one full session on that. Uh, Ashala, uh, uh, I'm not too educated on that. Why don't you just ask the developer for that? And if in case I'll come any response to that, I'll answer that. <coughs> yes, Rishikant, you can answer that. All right. So I mean, I'll answer you, Ashalata. Yes, listing it down will be easy. I mean, uh, how to put it across will be a developer's job. All right. Uh, Rishikant, uh, can you just prompt the question again, please? One question which I said that I'll complete the topic and then I'll answer. So we are done with the topic, more or less, friends. Again. Like always, this is the feedback link. Friends, please go to this link and uh, fill the feedback, including the comments. Please do write comments as well. And once you're done, just say done and then uh, you can take a leave. Vishikanth, I'm waiting for the question. Okay, I'll put in a chat box. Yes, here it is. Did you got it? No. Thanks. You can just fill it across. You people rush away when there is need of filling that just take out a little time write it down <laughs> okay uh, never mind I'm here for five ten more minutes so you can just let me know anyways this is my oh sorry ignore the email ID please This is the email ID and my phone number. You can uh, whenever Nishikant uh, you remember with the question, you can just prompt me a question on the WhatsApp or on the mail uh, email. I'll try to answer that. We can able to display ads in particular website. Yes, for that you need to buy a package from Suleika on 99 acres. Because they haven't grouped themselves into Google AdSense. So uh, they are selling their inventory because they, this is their main inventory model. So they put your banner onto Suleika.com or 99 acres. You have to pay separately for them. So they will crack a deal with you separately. They are amongst the classified sites. Huh? This is how they work. Uh, just let me know once you're done with the feedback. Uh, you can say done and then we leave. Kamal, uh, please do share the feedback as well. Uh, since you are very acute with SEO, it will be great helpful for your feedback. Yeah, so once you roped in with Google AdWords, uh, you'll see that you'll be able to get hands on with. Uh, Google partner sites as well and uh, if you want to make money and be a host for different banners uh, then Google AdSense is a tool and uh, automatically you get clubbed into this 
कार्तिक इन नेक्स्ट सब्जेक्ट विल बी ऑफ ऑफ पेज ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन वी कवर्ड वन पार्ट ऑन पेज टुडे एंड नेक्स्ट पेज विल बी कवरिंग इन फैक्ट कमल विल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अ लॉट इन दैट ही इज वेरी क्यूब विद दैट Thanks, Shubham. Good night. Good night, Rishikant. Hopefully, you have filled the form and do write written comments. Good night. Good night, friends. Oh, you lost four initial classes. Don't worry. I'll cover it. And uh, Karthikeyan, uh, we have just started. Just started a batch today. Uh, uh, for Sunday, twelve to two, a new batch. So please be on that batch as well. uh so whatever you have missed in the first few sessions will be covered good night amin good night good night shivam those videos okay i'll share the link with you this is the link where you can go and check out all the videos and do how did you find it all doubts are cleared so kartikeyan you can just check out this link i've been told that uh, if you are a subscribed member of dmp you have subscribed to the course you will be able to have access to all the videos and if one is running on a demo session will have limited access to it. yes uh, there is this bit.ly thing i'll let you know on the next session how to do it it is very easy you need to go to a site uh, log into a site and then you just have to write down the url it will give you a shorter url and it will be there for you forever this bit.ly is also the result of that only just remind me of asking this question next time too so i'm saying uh, how did you find the seo session you just didn't uh, talk too much in the session today uh, so did you got everything was it good fill down the form as well right and this is what i told and you didn't get it and do you could have prompted and uh, stored me in between of whatever you are not getting what are the things which you didn't get Okay, let us do one thing and do uh, next session of I mean not not for this batch next Sunday 12 to 2 noon to 2 uh, we have just started a batch today and in the next session in that batch Sunday 12 to 2 we will be covering this again SEO again so this is the same way I'll do that I'll request you to come on to that session as well and at every stage. at every step what you are not getting clear through just stop me in between ask me questions and all that and i'll try to clear uh, the subject to you in a detail right will that do
Thanks. Oh, Mr. Kamal Kumar, you are coming to me. Good night, good night, and to. So, Karthi, can I have you fill the form? How are you, Kamal? Didn't get the time to talk to you. How are you? Good. At home? Yeah, sure. All right, Karthikeyan, uh, is there any query? Any question you want to ask? And just let me know once you're done with the feedback form, including comments, writing comments into it, and then we'll log off. Thank you. Have you done the uh, feedback form and given comments into that? All right, uh, Karthikeyan, uh, please do fill that form. Since there is no more questions, it is, I guess we should log off now. Time to go. All right, shall I log off? All right, so I'm logging it off now. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next week.